Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel. I am I'm coming here at you from my bedroom. I think a buzz just flew somewhere. So today's video is going to be a little bit different. It's going to be us testing out different home items from Wish. I've been talking more and more on my channel about my home and I have been enjoying it so much. Like I've been doing makeup on here for seven years. So it's just nice to add another element, this lifestyle to my channel. I love home decor since I bought my house like two and a half years ago. I just... It's been like a really big opportunity for me to fall in love with home decor because like this house is mine and I'm not renting so I get to just have so much fun and trying out new things. And so I'm like taking you guys on that journey with me and talking more and more about home stuff which led us to this video. Now if you haven't seen the first one it is on my vlog channel because I was like am I going to put home stuff on my main channel or my vlog channel? I don't know what I want to do and here we are. <laughs> but you guys seem to really like it so I appreciate that. So today I bought a bunch of cheap stuff off Wish and actually I didn't do that today, but we're going to be testing that stuff that I bought out and we're going to see if it's worth your money. Although all these products did not cost a lot at all. So yeah, that's what we're going to be doing. We are going to be trying out Wish stuff. Okay. So let's sing the subscribe song and then we'll jump right into today's video. Be sure and subscribe to my channel before you leave. You know what to do. Subscribe. <laughs> Subscribe. All right, now let's jump right into today's video. Okay, guys, this is our first item. We have a sealer of bags. So basically, it will seal your chip bags or whatever plastic material by melting it closed. So your chips and all don't get still. It takes two AA batteries and it heats up. So what I did is I grabbed the batteries to put in it so I could show you guys. And before I could get the second battery in it, it was already turned on. I didn't realize and I went like this to squeeze the second battery in and it was already completely heated with one battery in it and I burnt my finger. I don't know if you can see that line right here. Do you see the shiny line? That's where it stamped my finger and burnt it with one battery in it. Just to know it's a little gimmicky um, and you can get hurt. <laughs> so I'm gonna get Ty to put in. So the I can get hurt? Yeah. So yeah, it'll be on right now and you can kind of feel the heat. Wait, I might have put it on backwards. Do you no. feel it getting hot? No. Are you sure it's the right battery size? I mean, it just worked, babe, for me. <laughs> That's the, do you see why I had to press it in so hard? On or off switch, which is like stupid dangerous. Like why, if something is heated, would there not be an on off switch? Yeah. That's dumb. Yeah, there you go. Why oh, is there a magnet? Like, well, you could stick it to your fridge so you could like keep it out. You <laughs> have it on at all times. Like, I know, right? Oh okay, wait, do you want to try? It's got a little safety thing, but does that make it turn off? It's still lit up, isn't it? It's like kind of lit up. How do you turn the safety thing off? You just flip it back up like Okay, this. so let's try to close the chip bag now. Like, did it make any sort of noise? Oh, oh yeah. it's, it's on. on. Okay. Oh wait, it just like penetrated. Oh no, it sealed no, it, it, didn't it. It sealed it, yeah. So you slide it across, it said. Okay, let's try this. Here we go. It's, Here, I can help hold the it's back. It's like not sliding. Okay, there it goes, there it goes. It's cutting it, no? Am I crazy? It's slicing the bag. It's... Wait, wait, is it closed though? Look. Oh, shoot. So your bag gets shorter every time. <gasps> That's, That's so dumb. dope. No, no, no. It's trimming the bag for okay. you. Because, see, I just had to so trim we want the that bag. To happen. Yeah, so it's like a brand new bag of chips. You kind of. It smells like burnt plastic. Bro. Okay, wait. You missed this corner. Let's seal it all the way. This is actually could be handy. I just think it's a little bit dangerous. It's very dangerous and it's hard to use. Wow, it's sealed. Look at that. Ooh. It smells like, yeah, burnt plastic, though. I kind of want to try another bag. Let's do it. Let's do one more. Okay, this one's like sealed up like a like, brand new bag of okay. shit. I mean, it's not. It's because uh, we didn't do a good job. Let me get another bag. Get Laura's, Laura's coming in with her favorite bag of chips here. <laughs> Is it? Really... Ruffles, cheddar, and sour cream. Okay, here we go. Yeah. Beginning to end. Ready? very hard to do. It is. It's not as easy as I'm making it. Doesn't it doesn't slide. As I'm making You're it. You're not making it look easy. <laughs> no. Okay, here I go. It doesn't slide. Okay, there we go. Here we go. Here we go. Um. Okay. Hmm. And then let me get this side because it didn't work over here. Oh my god. Okay, sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, we're seal? like, yeah, look. 
Airtight. 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 Well, not airtight. Air is, is it not? Out. Air is coming out. I would 100% say that this would be easier just to wrap your bags up and clip it. I mean, just yeah, but this is so it. fun and cool. It's fun and cool, but not practical. Don't show Erin this. She's going to... Oh, she's not touching this. Yeah, she's going to get hurt. That's... It's interesting. It's like borderline a gimmick. I rate it like a... What would you rate it? Five out of, I mean, one out of ten. A uh, three. Mm, that's not a good rating. I don't like it. I would never use it. And it stinks. It smells like burnt plastic in here. Well, I give it like, I give it like a... That's generous. <laughs> okay. Our next item is this little clock. It was super cheap. It tells the day of the week. It tells you the time, the month. I mean, you have to set it. This is not set correctly. But it just takes three AAA batteries. And it's a nightlight. So it kind of does everything. There we go, mode. So, I don't know, I thought I would just try it out. Um, it just does so much, and there's not much to say about it, but it does work, and it is a nightlight, and it, it, it looks pretty sleek. Like, if it was sitting on your counter, like, that looks pretty sleek, I think. It's not, like, tacky or anything, so I gotta get the back to it, put it back on. There we go, more light. Does the nightlight not stay on, Ty? I think it's just one of those things. I think you, you just press it. it to light it at night so you can see what time it is <clears> and then it. it goes away. It's not really a night light. I would never use that. Really? Yeah. But what if you kept it up in your kitchen window and just to keep the time? That could be nice, yeah? Yeah. Maybe oh, like on like an office desk. It would be more practical. Yeah, you're right. Like an office desk. I actually think this could be really practical for someone in their office desk besides the light up feature. It doesn't really stay lit, so it's kind of silly. What would you rate this? Like usability, practical, like what am I, yeah. what's my standards here? Well, like for your office desk, what would you rate something like this? I would never buy it myself. Okay. But maybe like a five. A five? Yeah. I'll give it like a seven. It does everything it says it would do online. Like they advertised it correctly. It looks just like it did on the website. So I would actually give this more like a seven. Especially if I had like a better use for it. Fortunately, I work from home and I have my phone on me and computers around me so I can tell the time and all that. But this is like could be really handy. Oh, you can do an alarm. See? Get set on your oh, nightstand. it's got the temperature. Yes. Does your rating go up? Five and a half. Oh. What do you need? What is this? Does this hold sponges? Yes. No. <laughs> That's right where you are. Where now you got to clean the window. Please, somebody. So beautiful. Somebody, please help me. Help me. Where were you going to put it? It goes in the sink. Yeah, you're going to clean. Look. No, no. Look at that. Not. <laughs> Get it off. Not on my bottom. <laughs> okay. Oh, this is actually, yes. Actually, I kind of like that. Yeah, I like it a lot. Like, that is so handy. That makes so much more sense than what I just did. Yes, thank. <laughs> this is actually great. And, like, I recommend this for everybody. It also has some little hooks if you need to hang something from it. But I think this is a sanitary way of keeping your sponges. I normally keep them up here, but... I think I'm gonna keep this actually. I think I'm gonna be a little more discreet with it. Sorry. Oh my God, it's just so smart. Okay, here we go. Then I broke it. <laughs> I had to fix you didn't it. Break it. It just came off. So you just it comes with that off. So you just get your husband. I'm just kidding. <laughs> you get You're a strong, husband. independent woman. So you hang it on yourself. I'm not right here. Yeah, that's perfect. Is that kind of weird? Because the sink leans right there. Just put it on. I love it. Okay. Well. I love it. Like, and then look. You can't see it from right here. That's so awesome. I'm going to keep this here. I, I really like it. So, that's great. <laughs> yeah. Clean it. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. That's when you don't mess up my windows. Yeah. All right. Our next item is the standing tube squeezer of toothpaste. So, this is supposed to stand up on your counter. And you're supposed to crank it and it continuously pushes your toothpaste down. So we're going to see if it works. How does it stay? And you're supposed to put it in there. We found a more empty tube, so it might be more effective. All right. This is all you do. Hold on, let's give maybe, it a little pressure. Maybe I'm twisting it the wrong way. Yep, yeah, you were twisting the wrong way. way. Okay, here we go. 
I think. Nothing's happening. I think I have to press it. This is two people job. Do you guys hear the rain? Do you guys hear the all the rain today? Is oh, you're supposed to. Wait, what? You're supposed to have it in the little digital slot. See how it goes in there. Oh, you have to get it in that slot. No, I don't think it matters which way you go. All right, let's see what happens. Wow, you know what? This is actually really resourceful because you're gonna be able to use so much more of your product and like, oh my God, look at that. That's amazing. Whoa, and like, tell me you're not gonna waste product with this. You know what I mean? You would waste less. You'll waste way less. You'll get way more use out of your toothpaste. This is gonna explode. No, I think You ready? No, don't do it. Look, and then you can just set your little toothpaste on your counter and it looks really chic and it's nice. It's very practical. Wow, okay, this is a winner. We have a winner, winner chicken dinner. I wish for the win. Okay, Ty, so what would you rate this? I'm gonna give this one an eight. Dang, I'm giving it a 10 out of 10, Ooh, would recommend. 10. 10 out of 10, would you recommend. I give it a nine. That's right, you should. Like, come on, look how great it is. So we have a winner. All right, now let's talk about a product that didn't work out. Hi guys. This. First of all, I bought it because it looks so cool, not because I actually wanted it in my bathroom. Yeah, and the, Laura thought it was one of the ones that you step on and it makes it turn red. They, I feel like they kind of advertised it that way. I'll I'm have sure to, they did. Yeah, they, I'll have to go back and look at the pictures, but I'll put them on the screen. They played you. I feel like I got played on this one. First of all, why? Who would want that? Why? Second of all, I thought the other one would be cool because it was like a gag thing. Like I was gonna gag one of them and like put it out and like let him step on it and be like, what the heck? Let's it turned see. like red and bloody. Let's see what happens if it gets wet. Okay. Nothing step on the water because you'd be like your wet foot coming out of the shower. Yeah, no. like what the heck? No. So it's supposed to be like a gag gift and it came in like this. I totally got paid. I give this a zero out of 10. Also, whoever's foot is shaped like this. It, <laughs> the like... toes got a little weird. It's like terrible. I'm actually gonna let it dry and then put it in a donate. Right. No, I'm actually gonna donate it. What if someone wants it? Okay. I have a bag of donations going, so I'm just gonna pop it in there. They probably don't, but I'll still try. They're like, what the? <laughs> but yeah, they're like, we don't want this. I rate this a zero out of 10. I agree with you, your statement. Negative. Negative, negative. The tomfoolery. On the gray couch. No, yes. I did the gray couch yesterday. I know. Guys, I've seen a couple YouTubers. Raw Chrissy Beauty, I think, uses this. This is called the Chomp Chomp. I got it off Amazon. I don't think they sell it on Wish. I just wanted to show it to you really quick since we're doing a home video. So this is actually getting washed today, but since it has cat hair on it, you rub it on your furniture like this. That's like the rubber thing bounces back and forth. You have pet hair, cat hair is what it was advertised for, but I'm sure dog hair will be picked up just fine. Um, okay, so there we go. We rubbed it. And then you pop this open and all the hair that it picked up is in here. That's what just came off the bed. Yeah, it's really incredible. Laura did the gray couch yesterday. And it was full. It was completely filled. I'll well, link this down below. So. Again, this is from Amazon, not Wish though. So I just want to show you really quick. Okay guys, we are in my bathroom. I'm like sitting on my toilet. Hi. So what I have here is a paint marker and what it's advertised for is for grout. And if you have a piece of stain grout in between, in between your tiles, you should be able to use this marker and it really cleans it up. Now I am terrified to use this right now because I should really just hire a professional, but I got some hair dye on my grout. It fell like back out of the trash can and landed on the ground and I thought I cleaned it and I didn't and it stained the grout. So I'm gonna have Ty try to paint it with the pen to see if it covers the stain. What does it say? It says shake the paint well before using. Press the nib for releasing gases inside the pen. What's a nib, first of all? The pen tip. And then it says pressing the nib for several times. I like, I don't want to touch that, but. I think you should hold it upside down and do that, actually. I pressed it. No, 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 hold it upside down and do it so the ink can come out. There you go. I don't understand. 
He said, press it several times. I think I see it coming. Yeah, there, there it is. It's turning white. Can you try it on my hand or like your hand? Because I don't want to mess up the tile. No, let's do it on the tile first. Oh my God. It's just like paint. So this is the spot where the dye got. But see, you can't get it on the tile. I don't think we're, oh God. Oh God. <gasps> that looks so terrible. Please get this oh, off. Oh, gotta get that off. <laughs> oh, it's actually not that bad. Once you wiped it off the tile. Looks better than it did before. It looks better than it did before, huh? But this needs to Let's be do a little like more. right here, huh? Now wipe, wipe it around. You can. Give me more. I don't know. Actually, it's just paint. It's yeah. literally just a paint pen. And they Fine. advertise it for grout, but it's literally just a paint pen. Yeah. I mean, it does look kind of better from a distance. This reminds me of one of those paint pens this that you get for cars. This guys. Okay, so what do you rate it? I'm gonna give uh, I'm gonna give it a four because I could have just got some paint and did that myself. I gotta need a pen. Yeah. Huh. I mean you're literally just buying a paint pen to use for anything. Yeah. This came off Wish? Yeah, it came off Wish. Wish be selling anything. Oh, they have it all. They have it all. So yeah, I'll give it a four as well. I mean it made you know the did, I changed my mind. Do it did the like? job, so I'm gonna give it like a six or a seven. Okay. Just like, I don't know how often I would need this. But that's a you thing. It's like, how well did it perform? It performed. It's fine. Okay. I mean, it's like some paints on the tile. Yeah, I know. That's what I was trying to get. And it comes up. We just gotta get a wet wipe. Yeah, like that's that. fine. All right. We filming? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so I got these little hanger things and they're supposed to double the space in your closet. You're supposed to hang this at the top of the hanger and then put a second hanger so you're doubling up. I got a bunch of them, they're super cheap. I just dropped one, but let's give it a go. Let's give her a go. So we're gonna... One goes through there, yeah. Like that. And then another shirt hangs from That's it. That's really amazing. Like That's that, like high-low, huh? yeah. That's smart. Is that how it goes, Ted? Yeah, mm-hmm. Now hang it. Oh, that's very smart. Like, how efficient and, like, saving space. Because then, you know, this space you have more of, so. All right, so do your whole closet, and we'll be back in five. Oh. <laughs> but then it kind of look. It doesn't really save space. It saves a little it bit of space. It does not really save space because, look, like, th this hanger in between could be hanging right here. Do you see how it pushes out? Yeah. So is it like... Like you're saying, I think she's saying, the blue part pushes up against this next hanger so it creates like this gap where you could have just hung the clothes. Am I doing it wrong? There's no way. I think, you know, it probably saves space with thick clothes, not these Maybe thin ones. thick clothes. And it could hang with the hanger going through but you still have the push out either way that you're using it. Yeah, you still have a lot of push out. Whereas you can see these don't like how close they are together. These are actually going to be pretty far apart. Yeah, like, <laughs> like yeah, let's look. Look how close you can get these hangers together. And this is as close as you can get these hangers. So, like, they're flexing. It might be like if my whole closet looked like this, I just don't know. I feel like you would save minimal space. Like just the tiniest amount. So I actually give these like a three out of 10. I actually thought these were gonna be 10 out of 10, like 100% for sure, no doubt. But I didn't realize like thinking about it, like actually no. I give them a five. I think they could potentially work with thick clothes to be better. This is what they look like though. I mean, if you had a bunch of thick jackets, it could potentially help. But for situations like this, like I don't really think it's gonna save you that much space, unfortunately. The next item we got is a set of LED lights. These are supposed to be really cool and they're supposed to change colors and they're supposed to be controlled by a remote control. These were super cheap on Wish. They, come, noise. they come on a spoolie reel like this and this is what they look like. So I was thinking we could line behind Aaron's headboard with it. But the problem is like they don't really like turn, you know what I mean? Like it's like a straight uh, line thing. I'm ready. Oh, uh, you. you. Ready. I'm ready, I'm ready. <laughs> 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 Dude, okay, wait, wait, wait. 
wait, let me try with this. Oh, yeah, yeah, you can change colors. I forgot. Delicious. Yeah, okay, let's see if they turn off. <laughs> off. <gasps> They're on. on and then look you pick your color you just hit the button oh my god this is so cool okay. oh my god Drape hold on red this. it's not turning red should i hit this red then yep there we go orange yellow yellow is green green is blue whatever this thing's a little a little wonky, a little wonky but and this says flash let's flash it Okay, so we actually voted on doing it behind the TV because the strip is not very long. Right, Ty? Correct. So he's going to hang on. They just have sticky. He's actually going to hang it on the back of the TV, not on the wall, right? Um. Yeah, just make it face this way so yeah, it bounces it off. Bounce, yeah. yeah. So I have purchased LED lights in the past, and what I've noticed is... The sticky on these are terrible. Like, what do you mean, not sticky enough? Like, you have to go buy, like, your own 3Ms, sticky. like, really high-quality sticky material. For it to really hang in there. These just aren't good. Do you feel like it's not going to work on this? I think it'll work, and, but I think they'll eventually, eventually. fall Eventually. So just, like, a heads up. Yep. Guys, it ended up taking two rolls of this because it comes with so... The roll is just so short. I actually ordered two. Um, so we have two controllers, and it took two rolls to cover this, so... Yeah, Ty was right. The sticky part wasn't that strong. So I do recommend 3M because it was already lifting off the TV. So I feel like I figured these will fall in a few days. You'll need extra sticky. You'll need a cube and you'll probably need multiple of these, which means you'll need multiple cubes, multiple stickies, and you'll have to deal with multiple remotes. That is some downsides to the oh LED God. lights yeah. on Wish because they're not very long. But if you have a really short area in your home to put yeah. lights on, then it might work out better. Okay. Whoa, that's so cool. Feels like I have enough lights. Okay. Oh my gosh. That is cool. Okay, look. Here we go. Off. Wait, you turn yours off now. Off. Wait. Is this not on? No, you hit the off button. Yeah, I did. Okay, there you go. Oh, there it goes. Okay, ready? Let's turn it on. One, two, three. Okay, but. Let's do the slow burn one. Okay, slow is fade. God, fade, fade. It's going pretty strong still. Okay, I see the ones. Like you one. have the ones that are going like this. I have the ones Black. that are up here. So let me turn mine on now. Fade. Oh my god, he got them synced up. Okay. What do we think? Hey, it looks pretty freaking cool. Is Erin gonna like? As a teenager, she's gonna think it's like the coolest thing ever. What do you think? What do you? What's your rating on this now that we're done? Are they cheap? Yeah, real cheap. Okay, I mean it's it's super cool for how cheap they are. They they're definitely coming up already. I can see it in certain see? places. I give it a nine out of ten. Ooh! I do not give it a nine out of ten. I'm like in a funny or in bed. Um, I give it like a 5 out of 10, like a 6 out of 10 maybe because like all the cubes and the sticky coming up and them being so short. It's just like not that practical, you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, so that's all the products I had to try out. You know what's crazy? There's cross interference with the remotes and both remotes are controlling one right now. That's so weird. So mm -hmm. basically one of the remotes picked up the other light so now we only have to use one remote for both lights. No, incorrect. Both remotes are only controlling one light. What? So yeah. now only one light's working? Yeah. Oh my gosh. This is how I would have it on at all times. Whoa, you better stop. Look at that. So Erin, I don't know if you guys can see it. She has blue fading out into purple. What do you think about what we did? I wish I would have filmed your actual reaction. She was like screaming, but. Um, this is the coolest thing ever. I was not expecting this, especially when you're just like, oh, come figure out what we did to your room. And I'm like, what did you do? She and couldn't see it. She was like, I've looked around my room. There's nothing new in it. And I love this. I've been wanting lights. This is so pretty. You can't see them, which is nice. Oh. That's not the lights. That's a little Nintendo cord. We need to just push up. I think it looks amazing. And she's, I can just go with whatever. I it's so calming. It, it doesn't appear as calming on camera, but like it's so soft. Let like the see fade it. out. It, see, it appears a little more harsh. Oh. But it's way softer. The fade out. Yeah. You guys want me to change color? 
Yeah, we want you to change color. Okay, so this is blue. Okay. Oh, blue. Ooh, blue is it looks the same kind of because the camera's skewing it. Green looks white on camera. It's lime green. It looks yellow now. I hate that the camera's not picking it up correctly. <gasps> red. You can oh, see red. This is Christmas! Woo! Ooh, all red. You can definitely tell. Creepy. That looks so cool, but not on camera. It's like bright yellow. The whole room's yellow. Woo! That's supposed to be yellow. That's pretty cool. Okay, guys, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, this was so much fun trying out Wish stuff. Like I said, it's so much fun to add the home um, aspect to my channel. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure and give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. And if you haven't subscribed yet, be sure and subscribe for more content like this. And I love you guys, and I'll see you all in my next video.